How are we doing? It's the host Jamal Williams of RBZ Highlights and I am here at the Cocktail Lifestyles Food and Love. Co-facilitating this event, doing the art of love, visual artist, entrepreneur, none other than Camille Loren. Yes. How are you doing? I'm doing so well. Thank you so much for being here. Speak to me about art of love. The art of self-love is it's actually something that I've been on a journey towards and um, today we are actually looking at a few different things. We're looking at unlocking our self-expression. So we did that by doing some live painting. So we had the, the guests here jumping right onto a blank canvas. They were painting, they were using the palette knives, they're using paint brushes, they're using glitter, sequins, and really just creating something together. And it was a magical experience just watching that come to life. My approach in art, I really want to break down the barriers. So that's why I do the live painting. I want to take art right where you are. So it's not in a gallery, it's not hidden away, it's not somewhere that you don't have access to it. It's right in front of your eyes, being made with you. And so what I want to do moving forward and just what I've been trying to do is give people that inspiration or that hope that they, you know what, they can do this. Like, it's not just me that gets to do this. You can paint live, you can create your own artwork, you can you can make these beautiful things, yeah. and it's you that has to allow yourself, mm. you know? And that's how I feel. I, I've, I've had moments where I was trying new things and I got a lot of resistance, and I don't want that to be the same story for people who want to do art. Speak to me about your relationship with Andrina. Oh, of And course. the merging of the two brands together. Why, yeah. why it makes sense? Andrina's amazing. I look up to her so much, so I'm honored that she asked me to come on board and partner with her for this. It is just as natural as breathing. I mean, Andrina knows that I love food, so I mean, it just works that this is a food and love workshop because I can't wait to go try what she's making. But I just find like nourishment goes really well with with, you know, creating a, a, or crafting your own routine, you know, so being aware of your diet goes along with waking up at a good time or going to sleep at a good time. So it's all towards wellness, um, wellness for your body, wellness for your mind, and wellness for your soul. And I'm here with vegan chef, self-love mentor, and the founder of Cocktail Lifestyle, Andrina Hufferden. Yes. All right, how are you doing, Andrina? I'm well, how are you? I'm good. Pleasure being here. Right now, you see we're in a kitchen. Uh, with some lovely food and setups, and there's a reason and purpose for that because we're actually here for a food and love workshop, correct? Uh, first of all, let's start with Cocktail Lifestyle. Explain to me the philosophy behind it, behind the brand. What is Cocktail Lifestyle? Cocktail Lifestyle is a way of life, a mindset, if you will, that empowers women to master self-love and acceptance. Okay. So everything that Cocktail Lifestyle does, we bring it back to the theme of loving yourself, accepting the natural being. Well, right now, I more focus on my mentoring. Okay. So I enjoy mentoring females one-on-one -on, -one on how to build a healthier, self-loving lifestyle, starting with your food and your thoughts and the entire lifestyle altogether. Um, I do see me working with many different female-based organizations. Okay. Um, for example, like today with Camille Lauren, um, I just love connecting with other female entrepreneurs. Um, women in general, when you get when you empower women, it, it changes the world. So tell me, self-love, what does that have to do with food and with the lifestyle of being a vegan or vegetarian? See, many people don't associate food with love. Food actually can create love. It's such a powerful thing. Food is the greatest medicine, it's the most powerful medicine that there is. Um, and with food, you can actually, what I like to do is I actually like to use food to help to balance out my chakra points. With Food and Love workshops, today what we'll be doing is focusing on our root chakra. So we'll be making a bruschetta with hummus and the colors in the bruschetta, the grounding, the vegetables that we'll be using will all help to send energy to that base chakra. The base chakra focuses on accepting yourself as you are. The affirmations for that are, I exist, I am rooted in life and myself, I am spirit first. As a woman, we're notorious for what they call comfort eating. We eat with our emotions. Yeah. If we're sad, we eat. If we're happy, yeah. we eat. <laughs> we eat with, we're emotional yes. eaters. I decided, I thought to myself one day, well, if I use food to suppress my emotions, why not use food to enhance my emotions, to enhance the love that I have for myself? A healthy body creates a happy mind, which develops a nourishing soul, which nourishes a loving soul. Okay, okay my mind's actually blown right now. <laughs> Is it really? Oh, 
really trying to take everything in. They got me in front of the camera, and I'm actually going to be preparing food, something that you've never seen before. And the man behind the car, Escort, is laughing. <laughs> but we're going to get it done <laughs> as best as we can. I'm going to explain and so you cool. can know what to do, but you're actually going to be preparing it. Is that uh -huh. good? Uh-huh. All right, let's go. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare hummus. Okay. Do you like hummus? I do like hummus. Yes, yes I do. Do you, have you ever made it yourself? No, never. You always get it through a store box? I from a buy restaurant? at the store. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to make your own hummus. It's very simple, okay. very easy, right. and it's gonna taste great because you made it and the one thing I want you to keep in mind <laughs> is to put your love and energy into it. Okay, That's so I need to center. To Exactly. I need to set to myself so I can put my love into this. Exactly. Okay, cool. How much do you know about water? Um, that I enjoy drinking it. Okay. <laughs> but one thing about water is it has memory. Water memorizes energy. Since most of our food comes from water, everything comes from water. Water is the root of life. You need to do the same with your food. So treat your food with love. You see this pepper right here? Yes. Tell that you love it. <laughs> um... Hold the pepper <laughs> and give it some positive energy. Give it some positive okay. energy. Okay, pepper that I'm holding in my hand with love. I love you, and I would love you even more when you're in my stomach. <laughs> nice. Now that was just that was just for that was just for laughs. That was just for me. Always have that positive energy yes. going into your food. Yes. You don't necessarily have to sit down and you know say pepper, I love you, but just have that. I won't be talking to my produce. Good. Okay. Good, because I do. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna start with a can of chickpeas. Um, this is the kind of lazier way out. I do prefer to get the raw beans. So we're gonna open this up. I'll let you do the honors. Does he know how to work a can opener? This is, I remember doing this when yeah. I was younger. <laughs> okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna strain out the excess water in there. Because it's coming out of a can, you never really know. Yeah. You never want any of the residue from the can to stay with the food, so it's always best to rinse your food. Now with these chickpeas, you're going to take your desired amount. So you can just even do half of those and throw them in the blender. Now we're gonna start adding our seasoning, our herbs. We're gonna start chopping up. The so raw foods. Raw foods. And how are we chopping? Am I just going you like You don't this? have to chop them too fine because it's all going to be blended. Okay. So just... So even if you want to do big cakes, make things easier on yourself. Uh, right thanks ahead. for outing me on YG Highlights. <laughs> Anytime. Anytime. I do enjoy garlic. Okay. I'm a fan of garlic. Well, you get to put as much garlic as you want. Okay, okay. so we got the garlic in there. We got the garlic. So now, the herbs that are here on this plate, mm -hmm. we have some scotch bonnet peppers. We have... Fresh oregano, mm. fresh parsley, fresh thyme, and fresh basil. So now since this, this is your hummus, you're going to create it exactly how you want it. If you like spice, add half a pepper in there. <laughs> Just a little, I, I, now I don't like a lot of pepper. Okay. But I am going to try well, which it's all the same. Color doesn't matter, I guess, right? No. No? They're all the same in terms okay. of the, the heat that they Okay, bring. so we're loving them all. Remember, pepper. it is quite spicy. So if you don't want it too spicy, half might be a bit much. For me? Yeah. So maybe you want to cut that half and no, half? I feel challenged now. Yeah? So let's go with the whole half. Okay, he's going to oh, do it. That pepper. You know, we, we like to up the ante here. So we're about to blend it up. Yes, we are. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> all right, so everything's blended up. Yes. Um, I had a little blending up dance that you would not get to see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to pour it. It wasn't worth it. Oh. <laughs> Look at all that drops. Oh Love my gosh. Is honesty. It is. It is. Right? <laughs> now you have successfully made your own hummus. Oh, wow. Now, Mr. Big Shot said that he could handle the heat. And it smells good. It smells peppery. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to go first, ladies are usually first. Oh, you know? the chef always takes the first taste. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's stop stalling. Homemade hummus. Then Jarena, confident. Let's go. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay. Come on, we don't need to miss a big shot. I'll definitely a little spicy. I actually like the kick, um, especially with this rye bread. Yeah. Because the bread is bland tasting itself. Mm -hmm. It kind of balances it all a mm -hmm. little. Thank you for inviting us into. You're welcome. Thank you for kitchen. being here. Follow us on Facebook, Cocktail Lifestyle, or on Twitter. On Twitter, it's Cocktail Lifestyle. 
the L and the E got cut off. Okay. <laughs> I was like, like sorry. dang it, Twitter. <laughs> um, also on Instagram, we're always posting. We're always giving tips and information and great, great scrumptious looking meals. Every single time. <laughs> yes. I'm Junior Hufferden, a self-love mentor, a vegan chef, and the founder of Cocktail Lifestyle. And we just had it here. My mouth is still bunning me <laughs> from the really? pepper. No, it is. I'm a punk. I'm a punk. I don't even That's taste it anymore. Stop this. Why don't you call this with your host, Jamal Williams? Stay tuned for more. Just putting that out there for now. Give us water. Lightweight. You're watered out. <laughs> <laughs>